Welcome back to Discover the Known, DTK is what I call it for short. My name is Vanessa and today you guys we're going to talk a little bit about self-care and the realizations that we should have when it comes to self-care. And um, while I do that, I'm going to braid my hair over as I work every day um, at practicing self-care for myself. So yes, I'm going to start with my hair and I'm very grateful that I know how to do hair. Um, it came from a very young age. My cousin taught me how to do her hair so that I guess when her mom wasn't available to do her hair, that she would have me because we lived in the same house. So she just taught me how to do it. And I'm thankful for that because it brought me self-efficiency as an only child. I went on to do my own hair. Um, and I also went on to obtain my cosmetology license so that was wonderful and yeah so let's just get started you guys you see i got some in the back that i took out and didn't even replace so we're gonna get started so i just always found it um very convenient to be able to do my own hair and as i um, grew older it saved me a lot of money and now today it still saves me a lot of money um, especially money that i don't have um, I do have two daughters and I'm my mother's guardian, so I take care of her and um, I have myself. So uh, that's four heads already. And I try to do my daughters and my mom here. I try to do my mom here at least once a week because she keeps braids. Like I keep braids in her hair, but that that's a challenge in itself because she just takes it out um you know maybe a day later or two days later and you know she wants it done again so that's a challenge and trying to take care of other people side note is really hard um my mom suffers from schizophrenia so she depends on me for everything because she can't keep her mind on track to like do things accordingly you know or as an adult or like or as be responsible because she just has um voices in her head that haunt her and tell her to do and say things or believe things that she you know thinks are true so I have to step in and take care of her. So with one of with that being said, one of the hardest things to do for her is her hair because um she she tends to just take it right out. Lately, I will say that she's been doing great. The last couple hairstyles I gave her, she kept them in until I told her, you know, that I was ready to do it again. Like, so if I'm doing it twice a week. She actually kept them in and I was just so very proud of her. But um, when times are like that and she takes it out, it does make it hard for me to um, make her look as presentable as I would want. And I'm trying to get better with that. I'm trying to get better with my self-care. I'm trying to get better with um, my kids routine in the house, like from morning to night. And so um, we have to gain the reins on that area because if not, um, I find that I get very sad, very, very sad when I can't do for myself. Like when I don't have the strength to make sure that my parent, my appearance is okay, when I don't have the strength to um, make sure that um, I don't put no lotion on. I don't put like when it comes to self care. I don't know. Like I just I really don't take care of myself. I don't. <laughs> that was a realization. I don't take care of myself. I um I'm the type of person that. My previous job, um, or just working, period, 
I'm the type of person that, you know, when I was going to work, I would just go everywhere in my work clothes. Like, cause I wouldn't make sure that I had, I, I wouldn't make sure that I had clothes, like just options of clothes or options of pants, options of shoes, options of coats, options of anything, earrings, um, lotions. I don't really, I don't have options. It was just always, you know, you jump in your work clothes, you take your kids to work, you come home, you know, well, after you stop at whatever store you need to for the essentials during the week that you don't, you know, toilet tissue, you done ran out of that, paper towel, somebody might need something. So you take care of your errands, you come home, and um, then I would just, you know, tend to my kids, tend to my mom, tend to the house, um, be present for my partner, and... That's pretty much it. You just do it all over again. So I don't really go anywhere. I know really I don't. So um, having more than my work clothes and the soap and the toothbrush and socks and, sh you know, my work clothes and my shoes, like that was all. I was like... You know, that was just what it was all about. As long as I had the bare minimum to survive the day, I would do that. I don't have no makeup bag. I only wore makeup when I went to my prom. Other than that, that's not my obligation. It's not my priority to um, make sure I have the most beat face in the room. Um, you know, things that I just probably don't even give enough thought to go eat out and get it because I'm so used to putting myself before everybody. And it's such a natural feeling like to do because all that you have, when you break it down, you tend to put yourself on a back burner because you're like, I want my kids to have this. I want my mom to have this. I want my kids to have the last bit of juice in the fridge. Like, you know, and so I just always put everybody first, just put everybody first, everybody first. And now that I'm on the road to entrepreneurship, um, I understand that I should have a good appearance about myself. I understand that I should, um, why is my light going down? Because it's the battery saver. So this was, this is what I'm gonna do because my phone was trying to die on me. I took out the front. I have all the pieces around me to put them back in. And so now we can move on. But yes, um, when it comes to entrepreneurship now, I have to um, make sure that my parents is priority. Because if you see me and you say, oh, uh, okay, you're starting a business. What are you selling? And I look a hot mess. That ain't going to fly. How are you going to, um, and then say if you're a business owner, you know, you're an entrepreneur yourself and you look into like collaborate or you look into like feed off each other. How is somebody going to feed off me if I look like I don't even feed myself? Okay. So that's what I'm going through now. And like I said, I'm lucky to be able to know how to do my own hair. But I do want to be in the nail salon, getting my feet and my hands done. I want my mom to be in there, you know, my kids, because my daughter loves getting her nails done too. Um, and I just got to take self-care a little bit more seriously because these people that I'm, you know, providing for that are dependent on me, they're dependent on me. And if I let myself down, I let them down. And it's, that's, that's too heavy on me. Like that's too, that would be too heavy on my heart to let them down knowing that I didn't give it my all, you know? So I'm gonna start right here, right now, moving forward. You know, I got the LLC. As you see in my previous video, I have the LLC for DTK. And now it's just all about presenting myself and marketing and being present for the business. 
and just trying to keep a positive mindset through it all so that I can be the best example um, to somebody else that is probably going through anything similar to me or trying to start a business of their own. I have to look like I like what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. You know, I have to look like... I want somebody to take something away from what I'm teaching um, by looking at me and saying, okay, she did it. She didn't want to get out the bed and even do anything or eat anything, but I have to do this. I have to do this. So my hair is really growing. It's growing so much, and that's another reason why I keep it braided because it tends to grow a lot faster underneath braids. And um, it's just, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's just so thick that I don't like dealing with it all the time. But you can tell I've been sweating and crying, child, because usually I have to yank my braids out because my hair is so, like, knotty. But it, it looked kind of healthy because I've been sweating and crying and crying and sweating. That's what that is. That's all that is. Um, yeah, so we're just going to get through these braids. And my goal is to just wake up every day. I don't care if I have to write a checklist like brush your teeth, wash your face, get in the tub and check it all off. And I say, okay, I did my self-care portion throughout my day. But... That's the goal. The goal is to wake up every day. Um, I have been getting into protein shakes, so I try to drink a protein shake every morning at, at the five o'clock hour when I get up and every night after my last um, meal before, I, you know, after shower and everything, I'll drink one before I go to bed. And um, I've been trying to stick with that. But the plan is to drink my protein shake, exercise, drink my water, um, brush my teeth, wash my face, get in the tub, get dressed, try to dress um, in a more business casual way. Like, you know, try to save money for that type of um, casualty wear and just take it one day at a time, one week at a time, bi-weekly, monthly, and we're just going to keep going and going until we check those things off our list. Remember, remember those 300 things we wrote down? We have to check those off as we go in the new year to come. And so um, I'm just going to every day encourage myself to take care of myself a little bit better. A lot a bit better and I'm gonna do that by just working on my appearance non-stop non-stop working on the business non-stop and so now after I finish this last braid up there I'm gonna um, attempt to put some eyelashes on because I like eyelashes and then I'm going to probably shade my eyebrows in a little bit, give it a little bit more darker look, fuller look. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. It means that I'm not alone. It means that um, if you made it this far into the video, that you can relate. You could probably relate to some of the stuff I'm saying. Um, it means you want to support what I'm doing. It means you want to see the journey I'm on. You want to see um, evidence. And evidence is... It's, it's just so great to see someone's evidence sometimes. Like... When I watch success stories, that, that's another thing that keeps me motivated. Um, seeing how people really dug into themselves and pulled that, that strong 
that, that last nerve they had. They pulled it out and they worked and worked and worked. Didn't let nobody get on that last nerve. Last nerve. Something about that last nerve. So I just really appreciate you guys watching. Um, that means that my mission is being received. It means so much to me. Just means a lot. So we are on the last braid for now, because I'm sure there's plenty in the back I can do, but we only worried about the front right now. Until I change hairstyles, this might get me two. I can't wait to see my whole head because I know my hair grew a lot with these braids. And just really excited about this journey. It's bittersweet. It's just, it's nerve wracking. It's everything bad and good, but I'm in the flow. I'm in the flow and I have my support system. I have my partner. Um, I had my kids, I had my mom, they keep me motivated when I look at them. All I got to do is look at them. And, um, you guys, you could do it too. If it's something that you're yearning for, something that you just want to complete or something you just want to try, definitely go for it. So let me get these eyelashes. They are $2.99. And I figure if I could recycle um, them for a couple days, I only have to buy two packs a week. So that's $6. So I got these eyelashes. Yo, I see why people be putting two layers on because the lash just be so thin. It looks so thin. But it looks good. Can you see it? So I did my eyelashes. It almost been. <laughs> but I did my eyelashes. Look at that. We getting there, guys. And then I have my eye pencil. Eye pencil. This is NK Makeup. NK Makeup. I think it was like $1.99. I did not get the price I'm sorry I really don't I'm not an expert at this but when the lady did it at the nail salon it looked real cute so I was like oh let me get a pencil and keep my eyebrows a little shape a little dark a little tasteful Yo, I don't know what I did to my eyebrows, but tell me if they look okay. I obviously need a little bit more practice with the pencil, but I'm I feel good. I might have to wipe some of that darkness out because it's like, like, what is, does it look okay? I might have to shape the eyebrows a little bit better. So I might wipe that off and do a little bit more shaping. I feel like, and see, I look like I got makeup on, but I don't. I just got eyelashes and a little bit of eye, whatever you call that. And I know nothing about makeup. Do I want to wear it in the future? Yes. The near future, yes. But for right now, I'm taking it one day at a time, you guys. So I am going to start taking care of myself as I venture out on my journey in business. I'm going through the motions. I'm in the flow. And so, um, yes, I'm going to um, also be telling you guys a little bit about what I want DTK to stand for, the products I'm going to be selling and things of that nature. Um, so I will be talking about that in my next video and then we'll go on with um, back in the motions. We're getting them tutorials done. You know, if you guys wanna see me make anything, I'll be happy to show you. 
or try to, because I really suck at tutorials. use. But with that being said, you guys, I hope you like, I hope you like my look. Again, these eyebrows just ain't giving. Do they give though? Like they don't give. What do they get? <laughs> these eyebrows ain't giving, honey. <laughs> Woo, what did I do? This is why. I'm gonna keep practicing though. I'm gonna keep practicing. I'm gonna keep practicing. I'm gonna keep practicing. But yes, um, I'm next. I'm going to paint my nails. I'll probably do like white or a really, really light spring color that I can find. Might be white though. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to paint my nails, but um, thank you guys so much for watching. That is all I have for today. You will not catch me slipping. I'm going to make sure that I take care of myself. I'm aware that I need to take care, better care of myself as I just go through um, life's daily struggles. And I'm going to continue practicing being grateful through it all. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. DTK all the way.